Start by sectioning the hair with a tail comb. Work with about one inch of hair and use a firm held hairspray for extra security and support. Take your tail comb and place it about two inches away from the base and push in about two to three times, creating a cushion to insert the clip-in hair extension. When opening and closing the clips, all you have to do is simply put your two thumbs on the corner ends of the clips and push in towards the center until you hear a pop. Once you insert it into the cushion, you want to do the opposite push to lock it in. It's that easy. After prepping the hair and opening the clips, you will start row one. Row one is labeled with three clips attached to it with the middle clip in an opposing color. Row one is located below the ear or towards the middle of the ear, depending on the natural thickness and density of the hair. Start with the center clip to make sure that you center it. Put your index fingers underneath the clip with your thumbs on the outside and push to lock it in. And attach your corners with the same method. It's that easy. Once again, after prepping the hair and opening the clips, I'm ready for row two. Row two is labeled with four clips attached to it and is located usually at the middle or top of the ear. Again, I will place the center clips in first, popping the clips in with my thumbs and my index fingers, and doing the same on both sides. Row three is labeled with six clips and is located usually about a half an inch to an inch above the ear from recession all the way around to the opposite side. Starting in the back and in the center, we're going to place the clips into the cushion and lock the clips into place with our thumbs and our index fingers. On row four, the extension is labeled with three clips and the left clip is labeled in an opposing color. We are working on the left side of the head and the section is located just at or right below the parietal ridge. On the side panel, start with the clip closest to the face, insert it into the cushion and pop it into the cushion and lock it. Row five is labeled with three clips as well with the right clip labeled in an opposing color. We are working on the right side of the head and this section is located at the parietal ridge or right below. You do have the option of taking this section on a diagonal back for a natural face frame. Insert your clips into the cushion and lock it into place. 